everybody, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing well. So today we're back with another video and this one is a food rated video this time. So I'm going to be eating Christmas food for 24 hours and seeing how that goes. So I'm just off to the supermarket now, it's very early. It's a half eight, so yeah, I'm off to the supermarket now and I'll show you what I get when we get back. Right, so it's a bit later now, it is almost 11 and I'm back from the food shop and for breakfast, I'm going to make some gluten-free Christmas tree pancakes, or I'm going to attempt to at least, because you know you when you see them on like those like Facebook posts and they make like really cool like patterns with pancakes. I want to try that with a Christmas tree. Because I didn't really have much in the way of like gluten-free breakfasty stuff. So we're going with this, we're gonna give it a go. And yeah, let's get cooking. Okay, so <laughs> these are supposed to be a Christmas tree and a ball ball. However, I didn't have like a squeezy thing to make it into those shapes, so it didn't really go very well. I have, however, got a chocolate Brussels sprout to go on top of the tree as like the angel. Strawberries is like the decorations, and on the ball ball, it's just got decorations all over it. I mean, it's not too Christmassy, but I tried. Do you know what I mean? I tried. What do they have for gluten free breakfast in the sake of like Christmas? Nothing, so. It's fine, we're going with it. I'm sure it will taste absolutely fabulous, so let's try it. Hello everybody, I am back. It is a couple of hours later, it has just gone one, and I thought I would start making some lunch. So I've decided I'm gonna have a roast Christmas dinner thing. I've got chicken, I've got Yorkshire puddings, gravy, um, vegetables, and I'm gonna make some potatoes. But I thought I'm gonna have it for lunch instead of dinner. I don't know why, I'm just feeling it now, you know. So I think I'm gonna make it now, and yeah, let's get some food, I'm hungry. Right, so I've just prepared the meat and potatoes. So I cut them really small, so they don't actually like big potatoes, just like the crispy ones. So I cut like half a potato like into like this many different bits because I like them really small and I just added some salt, a little bit of oil on the potatoes to make them a bit crispier and a little bit of thyme on the potatoes as well to make them tastier. So I'm gonna put these in now. It'll probably take about half an hour, 40 minutes, I'm guessing. So we're gonna put them in. I don't really know what degree it's on. I'm sure it'll be fine. And yeah, I'll see you in 40 minutes when I've got all my food. In the meantime, however, because I am a bit peckish, I got these after eights, so I feel like I'm just going to snack on a few of these, maybe like two or three. Whilst I'm waiting, you know, because I never have after eights and apart from Christmas time, so why not have them now, you know, just before Christmas to get the Christmas spirit. So, my roast is made, and it's actually surprisingly easy to make one for like literally one person, like that's the easiest thing I've ever done. However, I do think I'm missing something, and I don't know what. So this is what it is, Yorkshire's, veg, potatoes, there are so many, that was literally half a potato that I cut and there's literally so many because I did them so small. And uh, some chicken, I don't know what I'm missing, but I'm pretty sure there's something missing. I couldn't tell you what, oh, well, but I'm going to get dug in to this. Actually does look quite nice, I don't really like roast dinners that much usually, but Christmas themed vid so you've got to do what you've got to do, do you know what I mean? So yeah, all of this is gluten-free as well, which is absolutely fabulosa. The gluten-free Yorkshires are so good, they're from Asda, but like everywhere has them. And then you put them in the um, oven for two minutes and they're done and they're so good. They taste like normal ones. So yeah, I'm just gonna get dug into this because I don't want it to get cold. That was actually really nice. I don't really like roast, but I really like that. I don't know why. It's a bit random, I'm having a roast on a Monday afternoon. Oh well, live life on the edge, you know what I mean? But I'm very full up now. I was gonna have, um, I did get like a good Christmassy dessert thing, but I think I might have that a bit later because I'm very full right now after that. So I might have it after my lunchy dinner thing tonight. I think that's a better idea. But yeah, I'll see you the next time 
I'm shoving my face with food. Hello everybody. So earlier I also bought a festive clementine diet coke and I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like diet coke for like the best of times. But because it was said festive on it, I thought I'd give it a go, do you know what I mean? So let's try it. It smells so strong. It smells like the mango one, you know. Oh, it doesn't smell very nice. I don't know, I feel like if I like Diet Coke, maybe I'd like that a bit more. But the fact that I don't like Diet Coke and that's even got a weirder taste to it, then it doesn't bode well with my taste buds, you know. Okay, hello everybody. It is a bit later now and I've just picked a spot on my face, hence why it's so red. Sorry about that. Um, but I'm going to have a snacky dinner. I don't really, I can't remember what I've got. Let's go have a little look. There's a Martha. Hello. Hi. Hello. But yeah, I got some gluten-free cheese crackers because I feel like they're quite Christmassy. Because oh, people always have cheese balls at Christmas, no? Am I right? I don't really know. I don't have them. But I got cheese crackers and I'm going to have them with some cheese and grapes. And also, in Audi, I found the most Christmassy thing in the whole video. Christmas tree tortilla chips. How cute is that? They're all like different colours. And they're shaped in a Christmas tree. Okay, I've made my dinner and it's actually really cute. So, it's just these gluten-free cheese crackers, put some cheese with it, I'm gonna have like grapes with it as well, on top like that. And then, these Christmas tree little tortilla chips. They're in green, red, and yellow. But how cute does that look? That's quite festive, I think. so yummy and that's so good for like a gluten-free lunch if anyone out there is wondering what to have also those tortilla chips they were like green ones red ones and yellow ones and i thought they taste a bit different like you know in the pastas when you get the different color pasta and they do taste different they didn't taste different at all they all tasted like the same and really nice so yeah definitely go and get them i think they were like 79p in audi so bargain hello everybody it's a little while later now and i have just put in this like chocolatey puddingy gluten-free thing in the microwave for pudding. So this is what it looks like. It was from Asda. I don't want the other one to fall out because you get two in there. But it's just this free from two mat in the middle Belgium chocolate puddings. And I thought they looked really, really nice. And I feel like this just screams Christmas. Does it? I don't really know. It's not Christmas pudding, but I don't really like that. So I feel like that's quite Christmassy. Do you know what I mean? You're not gonna have that like all year round. So I feel like it's quite Christmassy and we're just gonna try it so yeah let's go get it out of the microwave right so it's just got out of the microwave and i've got it here let me just oh my gosh it's so like flimsy that's what it looks like and it's all gooey on top and i feel like it's like that in the middle as well which should be divine so yeah i'm gonna leave this video here just gonna eat this cake thing now whilst watching stepping up because i've just been casting it which is very exciting so yeah just gonna watch that have a bit of a chilled evening and eat some yummy food so thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you on sunday for a new video bye